What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the LDBC and the YTBC. And a uh, reaction to Jurgen Ur- Ur- Brammer, excuse me, out of Germany, giving Robert Brandt a boxing one on one lesson, an introduction to 168 pound super middleweight, and an introduction into, you know, world class level um, for the most part. And, um, you know, Robert Brandt had no answer for, you know, Brammer all night. Brammer was in his in front of his home crowd. You know he's gonna show up and show out at least try to, and that's what he did. Um, too awkward. I told you guys in the prediction video that uh, he wasn't your you know regular German slash European fighter. He wasn't upright. Um, he was a southpaw. He moved his head. Uh, good foot mover for the most part. Good upper uh, body mover. Um, you know I didn't think he had the most pop in his punches. I did say that. Um, so therefore Robert Brandt was able to see the finish line. And he just seen that he had a better fighter. This had nothing to do with size. Let's keep it real. So I don't want to hear the excuse about, oh, Robert Grant moved up eight pounds. Well, this guy moved down from 175 to 168 to sell. So to me, that's fair That's fair game. He knew what he signed up for going into the World Boxing Super Series. He took a shot and a gamble on himself and Robert Brandt came up short. He couldn't do nothing with Jurgen Brammer. It was nothing to do with size. He was a better boxer than him. Um, you know, Robert Brandt didn't do anything we, we said he needed to do. You know, he didn't attack the body. He didn't step up the pace. He fought at Jurgen Brammer's pace. And um, he got killed at that pace. Pretty much that's what it was. Um, he got outboxed. He got countered. He got out. The defense was too tight for him. And he looked like a fish out of water. He like he didn't even belong on that level in this tournament. And that's probably one of the reasons they let Robert Brandt in the tournament because they knew he was an easy target. He was easy fish food. And um seems like he had zero ability at 168 pounds doing anything. And um about his prospects about going down to 160 pounds and still being uh Ryota's um, you know, mandatory who just beating it down for the regular WBA. I don't know about that now, man. I know he probably gonna have some pop, but at the end of the day, the blueprint is laid out. You can outbox this guy. This guy, um, I told you guys, he hadn't fought out. He fought Minnesota the vast majority of his fights. He fought a couple times on the road in Arizona, California, places of that nature out west. But um, he was never um, in an arena or in a situation like he was in this fight. He definitely was a fish out of water. I did pick him to win just off of clout. I think I seen enough footage. I thought he could have beat Jorge and Brammer because I seen Nathan Cleverly um, really beat him. I was like, he he could be he can do what Nathan Cleverly did: step up the pace, attack the body, but he couldn't do it. Brammer's foot and upper body movement baffled him all night, and um, you know that that was a difference. Just experience, um, boxing skills, nothing to do with size. We're not gonna sit here and cry you or cry ourselves a river for our American counterpart talking about oh you know he didn't have the size or he moved up in weight. He he, he took a chance. I'm not commending him for taking a chance because he got whooped. He got whooped. It had nothing to do with size. It had everything to do with ability. Um, he seemed to have a quicker hands, but Bremer had the better timing, better boxing ability, better awkward movement. This dude must have had enough pop in his hand to keep Brent at bay. Maybe it was just the movement and the irky-jerky, awkward movement of him. But Brent never tried to press the attack, never tried to rough it up and go to the body on him, never tried to make it an inside war. And therefore, he lost. He came up short. Um, he can hang his head because he deserves to hang his head. And he got to get back to the drawing board and get better. He, You know, Derek James told him to go get it. You need to go get this fight. He couldn't do it. Um, and I just think it was all credit to, to Jurgen Brammer. You know, he, he out-slicked this guy. He out-thought this guy. The experience factor. Will Robert Brand got 18, 20 fights, something like that. Jurgen Brammer got 51 fights. So the experience factor... And him being at home, everything was in his favor besides youth and besides the athletic ability for the most part. But when you got, you know, IQ, time, and skills down pat, you know, what more what more do you need? As long as you're able to make the finish line. He came down and weighed at 39 years old. And, um, you know, both made concessions. And it seems like your hand Brammer's concessions paid off. He'd be fighting Callum Smith in the semifinals while we getting one of the better fights of 2018 early on between George Groves and Chris Ebanks Jr. and the other semi-final and it should be a firecracker um for your Herman Brammer it's gonna be an uphill battle to fight Callum Smith but Callum Smith didn't look good last time out I understand that he had a long layoff but it's a winnable fight for your Herman Brammer and um you know with that boxing ability he definitely can outbox Callum Smith I don't hold him in the most highest regards after that fight but like I said he had a long layoff I picked him to win the tournament beforehand anyway Callum Smith um you know Robert Brandt he said he's going back to 160 win lose or draw at the uh tournament and I guess, you know, if he's ready to take on Ryota and try to become world champion, which is not really a world champion, just being a regular WBA because, we, you know, 
Triple G is the real Super WBA champion. He can, you know, try to crack at 160, but he got to get back to the drawing board about how to become more aggressive, how to fight on the front foot, how to fight on the inside, how to go at it at the body. He just got to refine some things and get better and get back to the drawing board before he hops in at the world title level. Uh, once again, I think, you know, Ryota right now will beat the crap out of him because the blueprint is laid. But, you know, on to the next one. World Boxing Super Series. We out.